Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I will discuss to you the switch statement of the Java programming language. So basically, this is used to evaluate several conditions, which is similar to the if statement, wherein you can test several conditions. For instance, if, if you're testing for a code, for example, and the code value is 1, if it will do something, if the code value is 2, it will do something. If it is three, it will do something. So basically, it is similar to the if statement. So an alternative to the if statement is the switch statement. But before we begin the discussion, please support the channel by clicking on the subscribe button and hit also the notification bell so that you will be notified with all the new videos that I'm going to upload in this channel. And so, what is this switch statement of the Java programming language? So like I said, it is similar to the if statement, wherein it is used for testing conditions, right? testing values. So if it is true, if a certain value is true, it will execute certain statement or several statements. All right, so basically, again, it is used for evaluating conditions, similar to the if statement. So an alternative to that is the switch statement. Basically, it has this syntax here. All right, so we're in here. You, you have to provide here the variable to be tested and the possible values here. All right, so you have to type case and then the possible value. If that is true, it will evaluate code blocks here which means one statement or several statements to be executed all right so and then after which you must have a break once this break is encountered it will go outside the switch statement which is somewhere here right after the ending uh, curly bracket so that's how it works the default here is something like in the if statement it is similar to the else all right, so meaning to say, if this is not true, this is not true, then it will do immediately the default value. All right, so that's how it is. So let's put into action this statement. Okay, so for instance, I have a variable here, let's say int x. Initially, it has a value of one. So for instance, I would like to test the value of x. If it is one, I'm just going to print one and two. If it is two, I'm just going to print three and four. And if it is not 1 and 2, I'm just going to print 5 and 6. So something like that. All right. So, so I'll need to say X here. So the X is the one I'm going to test. Open curly bracket, close curly bracket. If you are using NetBeans, it will automatically uh, write the closing curly bracket. And so let's continue. So I'm going to say case here case one if that is true so i'm just going to print system that out that print line let's say one there you go i'm just going to copy this and then break so if it is not one maybe it is two so i'll just i'm just going to copy this so if it is two i'm just going to print three four break so if it is not one it is not two also so maybe it is three so or any other value so i'm just going to say default here all right so i can say here five and six there you go all right so if we run this now it should give us one and two as you can see here one and two so it evaluated here to one no because the value of x is one so I'm going to check for X. Is it equal to one? If that is true, it will execute this. It will execute also this and then break. Break means it will go to the line after the closing curly bracket of switch. So it will go somewhere here. All right. So that's the end because there is nothing here. So that will be the end of the program. Let's check if it is two. So if it is two, it should print three and four. So there you go. So it evaluated, I mean, it printed three 
and 4. So basically, that's how it works. No? So again, the purpose of the break here is to get out of the block. There's no need for you to test the other part of the uh, conditions or other conditions. So it's like that. If you don't have the break here, what will happen is it will test again too and definitely it will come inside. That is what will happen. So let us test it. So for example, you forget the break. That is what will happen. All right. So because it is not equal to one, so it will go here and then here, then here, and then it will still go in the default value here and then here. That's why you have three, four, five, six. All right. So it will evaluate everyone. No? So for example, one here, let's change the value to one. Okay. As you can see, it evaluated everything, right? So that is the importance of the break here. So if you have the break, like for example, yes, here. So if you have the break, what will happen is again, if this is true, it will execute 20 and 21 and then break. All right. If you don't need to, basically we don't need to evaluate other values. So it will just go out of the switch statement. So it will go here in line 32. So that's how it works. As simple as that. All right. So this is the nice thing about the switch statement. Um, also, you have to consider uh, the, the following when you can use. No? So it can only be used for fixed known value. All right. So not range. You cannot use this for range. All right. So that's the nice thing about if statement, by the way. So in the if statement, it can evaluate almost every condition all conditions so if it is range so you can use greater equal but here you cannot use greater equal so basically it is used only for equality all right so that's the difference between each and if and the switch all right so also you can use it for data types int short byte car and string only so if your data type is double or float, uh, you cannot use it. All right. So for instance, here, I'm going to change this one to, let's say, byte. It is still possible, right? So I'm going to run it. F6. See, it is still working. Okay. So it's going to be something like that. Let's try it with the string. And so let us try to, well, I'm going to copy this. And then... I'm just going to remove this so that we have a new program here. There you go. So I'm just going to use the same code. So I'm just going to change the value. Let's say string. Let's say this is a string, right? Because even though it is a number, but it is enclosed in double quotes, so it is still considered as a string. So because it is a string, and so when I test these values, it should be enclosed with double quotes, right? So if we will run it, the same output will come out. And that is one and two. All right. So similarly, if it is character, so if it is car, so therefore, if it is car, you should use single quote. So something like this. Because it is a car data type. So single quote here, single quote here, single quote here, single quote here. So there you go. I run it. I just run it. And I press F6. So it gives me the same output. If I will change this to 2, it should give me 3 and 4. There you go. So you can only use this again, the switch, to evaluate variables with data type of int, short, byte, car, and string only. Also, the last one, uh, this default here, all right, if you don't like to use the default, you can also still test it. Okay, so for instance, you are certain the values are 1, 2, and 3 only. You want you want to test only 1, 2, and 3. If not 1, 2, and 3, then it will not do anything. So it is possible something like this. It's not always default. No? You can still test the possible value for x, 1, 2, or 3 only. So if it is 4 or it is not 1, 2, and 3, or 3, then it will not do anything. So 
it's something like that so for instance if i will say here this is four so no output will be provided no so nothing will be executed all right so it's it's like that so if it is four and then you use a default here that means it will execute the five and six all right it will print five and six and then it will break all right so again this is similar to the if statement else so the else value so so basically if it is not one it is not two then it is three if you use default all right so also here in the code blocks here you can put any statements this is just an example i just want to print something so so that you will understand very easily but actually you can put or place anything here you can place here mathematical expression conditional statement again you can put here switch or if or loop statements you can declare variables almost everything you can do inside the code block here all right so in this case in this example it will be here all right so i hope that you find it uh, easy to understand the switch statement uh, thank you very much for watching and i'll see you on my next one